I'm Bill. I'm with Kelly Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage. Welcome back to the Ducati Street Fighter V4S. Today, today I'm taking you guys along on a little journey. We're going to be changing the oil for the third time. I know some of you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but let me explain myself. The third time I've changed the oil on the Street Fighter. Now, uh, I'm a big firm leader in the Moto Man break-in. Uh, we did a oil change at 200 miles and we did an oil change at 600 miles and we're at 2800 miles now and uh look like i said i'm a big firm believer i've always said change your oil more is better so uh we're going to be walking through now if you guys are on a panigale this is basically the same exact procedure you guys are going to walk through on the panigale uh, or the street fighter so we're going to walk you through a step-by-step -step and everything just kind of go through everything but real quick let me give you guys a quick update on the collection because we've got a couple of bognas bikes outside the bmw s1000 r with a uh, new fancy little exhaust finally the new air exhaust showed up but we have to do something about this down here. I believe we are going to be getting full exhaust soon. Uh, BMC air filter is coming in. Uh, the bar and mirrors are off. She didn't like them. Uh, radiator guards are on, but the new Aprilia Tuano factory, uh, almost modless. You guys may have already seen. We have the stomp grips already on. The exhaust is, uh, is here, but we aren't going to put it on because we have a special little treat for you guys. If you guys follow the channel, you know that I've already been over to Shiv to do a dyno test on the Street Fighter. We, uh, we haven't been able to get any tunes on it, so it's coming, don't worry. But Shiv is an expert on the Tuano. So we are going to be getting the Tuano uh, all set up and uh, tuned. So we're going to do a before and we're going to do an after the tune and we're going to put the exhaust on. But uh, today, today we have again another awesome kit. First of all, this kit that I get, I'm going to link it down in the description below. This kit comes complete, filter, all of the seals and the oil from Moto Wheels. It's all, everything you need. Uh, I also was lucky enough to stop by there today and they were gracious enough to give me a new little treat. We're gonna get some new spool uh, sliders on the front, courtesy of Moto Wheels and Speedy Moto. So thank you guys for that. Uh, but today let's get into walking through step-by-step step, everything that you're gonna need for the oil change. Now, uh, tools are pretty simple. You're gonna need a 14 millimeter uh, for the drain plug. Obviously, you're gonna need a little, a little call a little low boy uh, oil drain catch. And then you've got an eight millimeter for here. And this was a trick. Now, the first time I, um, I, I didn't know how to get this out. And I had to YouTube it. And what I found was that it needs some M8 1.25 bolts that actually thread back through here and actually pull this out so you're gonna see you'll understand when we get there um, but let me explain to you guys also the bike has been sitting it hasn't been run i would encourage you guys not to let the bike run for overnight so do this first thing in the morning or let the bike sit for a couple days uh, it has been sitting it hasn't been run that means all the oil is in the pan and the filter and then of course, uh, like I said, the moto, uh, moto wheels, I choose the 300V 1550 and I use the high flow uh, filter. And what's nice about their kits is they give you the two washers and the crush washer, the uh, crush washer obviously for your um, nut here. And then the two washers in here, which you'll see obviously when we get it taken off. So let's go ahead and uh, switch over to the GoPro and we will talk about uh, what we're going to do basically just to drain the oil. It's pretty simple, especially on the Street Fighter. It's all nice and exposed. So uh, let's get that uh, nice and open and start draining. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to crack with our 14 millimeter. We're going to just crack the, uh, the drain plug loose. Okay. So we're just going to get it nice and loose enough that we can pull our pan under. And then um, let's switch this pan around a little bit because our drain plug is over here. Don't forget to drain, uh, vent your drain pan. And uh, here we go. So you guys will see we've got metal, uh, some you know some metal here. This is pretty standard as I hear from the Ducatis. You can see that there. Um, I understand that that's 
pretty normal, but we'll get that nice and cleaned off. And as that drains and gets down to just about everything, we're going to start cracking these uh, loose and get the oil filter off. All right, so uh, eight millimeters, so what we'll do is we'll kind of push this over to the side so we've got access to the eight millimeters. And we're just gonna pull these completely uh, completely off. So we're just, we'll pull these completely out. The paint, the, uh, the bottom uh, filter housing isn't gonna come off. So you're gonna kind of have to um, pulley, pulley it off. I don't know what the correct term is, but we're going to pull these uh, bolts all the way out because we're going to use these bolt holes for the pulley bolts. All right, now that we've got these three out, what we're going to do is we're going to take these three larger bolts. I think uh, Motor Wheels does sell a kit that has these bolts. I just happen to have these bolts, and you'll notice that they thread in to the same exact holes that uh, the bolts came out. These are a little bit longer than probably we need, but they just happen to be bolts, like I said, that I had here in the, uh, in the garage. Let's get this... All right, so here is the trick, you guys. Here is the trick, and what we want to do to be careful with this is actually some of it is it's actually kind of working off by hand. But what you want to gradually do is you want to gradually turn these bolts. Um, a little surprising that I can do it by hand this time. So you're just gradually turning all the bolts evenly. So you're trying to pull this down and actually it's gonna come right off. So once you get it kind of off, you'll see that this is actually pulling down. So this isn't, if you can see in between here, this is actually not bolted, it's actually just pushing, creating pressure, which then creates the gap. And then you'll notice, I'm trying to get my hand out of the way as we wiggle this and pull this down. Oh, boink. There we go. So a little bit messy but uh, not to worry, not to worry. And uh, you'll notice, so once we get this all out, we'll throw this in a towel and we're gonna get this cleaned up. We can now remove the bolts here. So we don't need to have these, these bolts in there any longer. And uh, there we go. And uh, we'll get this cleaned up. And here in a minute, you're probably going to see this filter fall on its own. And if it doesn't, we'll give it a little tad of a pull. Comment down below if you know a better way. <laughs> Um, and this pan, a little bit of room, and uh, there we go. All right, a little bit messy, so be prepared, get some rags, be prepared for the mess. But what's nice now is uh, all the oil is basically almost drained out, um, and it's all sat overnight, so we're good. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to prepare this housing so you can see it's got two gaskets in it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get you guys a little pick and uh, i love my little picks so we're going to pick out these old gaskets replace these gasket guys get the gasket kit you want to replace these gaskets so we're going to pick out this gasket number one and number two and these are the gaskets that we're replacing that come in the kit from Moto Wheels. All right, so the uh, you, you'll see the gaskets are quite small. Uh, we're going to stretch these up over and around and on. So we're going to get the bottom one on. There we go. And then we'll stretch the other top one on. Lighten me a little bit. All 
All right, so now we've got that on. All right, guys, my apologies. Uh, the battery died. <laughs> camera, camera issues. So, um, all right, so we've got the new seal in here and we've got the old ones off, so that's good. And we've got that nice and cleaned up. And then what we wanna do is now grab our uh, drain plug and make sure we've got this nice and clean. So we wanna run cleaner through it, clean the magnetic piece off, get all the little metal pieces off. And then we wanna make sure we take the crush washer off because we're gonna put the new one on. And then uh, make sure you just get it nice and clean. All right, now that it's nice and clean, we can go ahead and put the new crush washer on and we can start basically start reversing. So I like to put the drain plug back in here and get that just hand tight. And then we're going to grab our new filter. I like high flow. Some people are like, uh, you know, get the Ducati one. Um, some people use K&N. I personally like the high flow, so that's what I go with. That's my choice, my choice. Um, all right, so this is gonna go right up, and once you get it in, you're gonna feel it kind of seed in, and you're just gonna give it a nice little push, and you'll hear it click in, and then <laughs> presto, it's gone. And then uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and get this back in, so it should be a pretty good push. And then we're gonna align everything and it clicks right back in. Then we're gonna grab our eight millimeters and start threading them through. And just about done. Of course, we'll do a final wipe down when we're done. Get all the oil off so when the bike starts, it doesn't smelly smell and I think we are good so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our eight millimeters and snug up these bottom bolts and what I like to do is I like to get them hand tight or uh, you know just just tight so it stops pretty much like right there okay and right there and there and then uh, I just leave it oh my god how many people just freaked out right there <laughs> um, all right so this is my procedure is I like to go about a just about a you know one one o'clock so we go from 12 o'clock to to one o'clock or would that be I guess we're going counterclockwise so 12 o'clock to 11 o'clock 12 o'clock to 11 o'clock so just so they're snug and that's it, nice and clean. And then uh, drain plug, we kind of do the same thing. So the drain plug we're gonna get, and just so it's snug, and then we're gonna go one position and leave it. And we are all set. So now I get a final clean on it, and let's head over to the other side, and let's get this bad boy filled up with oil. All right, guys, well, uh, occupational hazard with owning so many different bikes. I said we had to go to the other side to fill this thing up. And here we back are on the same side. Uh, I have this really cool, I love the CNC. So I've kind of chosen to go with CNC as most of my accessories. So um, I have a nice CNC uh, drain cap. Get that nice and clean. And I got my little funnel, which I like to thread right in and the Motul V300. Now, uh, most people say about three quarts and two ounces, so just about three quarts. So what we're gonna do is this obviously has um, five, just almost four, or excuse me, three liters. So this has four liters. So we're gonna put in, we're gonna put in the three liters and we're gonna run it check it and uh, see how much more it needs. All 
All right, so I've got two, I've got uh, three and a half, excuse me, two and a half liters in the bike. So total two and a half. And on the window, so let's go to the other side so I can show you guys. On the window down here, you guys will see that it is actually showing right at the full mark without it running, okay? So this is kind of my first kind of judgment is we get that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off and cap it. And we're gonna run it for about two minutes and then let it sit for a minute and uh, recheck. guys so we've given it a couple minutes to run make sure the oil is nice and through the engine make sure it's through the uh, filter and everything and uh, we're gonna go ahead over to the other side check the window now the window is gonna basically look like there's not any oil in it but uh, you'll see here there's just a teeny 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 bit of oil down there at the bottom so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put about another uh, half a quart back in it and see if it lo uh, levels up. We're gonna run it again, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit overnight, let all the oil settle back down, and then we're gonna check it in the morning before we leave out on our ride. All right guys, so rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So basically I filled it up a little bit, turned it on, let it run, a little bit, let it run. Almost every time I've done it, if you guys can see, there's just about a half one, what does it say? One pint, just about one pint left in here. Almost every time I filled this thing, almost perfect. So that's where I kind of went to. And uh, you'll see, I let it run, but obviously it's really got to run. But you'll see that we are right at the top mark right there. And so obviously tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll check it when in the morning and it should be about the same. It might be a little bit higher, but when we run it basically tomorrow, uh, we'll notice that that'll go down because oil will kind of be through the whole thing. But you, you really want to check the oil. My understanding with the Panigales is you want to check the oil in the morning when it's been sitting uh, on a center stand. That's when you're supposed to check it. But uh, I got a special little treat for you guys. And uh, if you guys have made it this far, I'm going to install the new frame fork sliders for the uh, forks up here, uh, courtesy of Speedy Moto. You can get these from uh, Moto Wheels. All this stuff comes from Moto Wheels, so I'm gonna link it all down below, but uh, let's get these installed real quick for you guys and uh, show you how easy these are because it's basically one bar, two bolts, and you're ready to go, so let's get going. All right, so the Speedy Moto sliders. Now, when I was over at uh, Moto Wheels, they were explaining to me the, uh, the benefits of the Speedy Moto plastic because the plastic apparently is a special kind of plastic that it helps with these from, they actually slide instead of catching onto the road. So you don't want to, in the unfortunate event that you do crash, you don't want your bike to slide and then catch and give you a, it get you in a tumble so uh so these are supposed to slide better apparently i don't ever expect to test these but uh let's get them on there look better safe than sorry right so let's go ahead so what i've done is five millimeters of uh, uh allens and i put the one side on and then there's there's uh there's obviously two sides and there's the bigger side and the smaller side. The smaller side's gonna go over the nut side. This side's gonna go on the big side here, okay? So we're gonna thread this through and get it set. And, you know, OCD people, is that right? Huh? All right, so then uh, let's get to the other side and basically just snug it up. Hey 
absolutely 100% one of the easiest mods that I've done. So hopefully this video uh, helped you guys out and uh, thanks for kicking it with the garage with me. Uh, oil change done. We checked the oil in the morning. Uh, sliders on. We've got a lot more to do. Uh, bear with my DIYs because I know they're lengthy, but I try to really give you guys good details. So make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below if you guys do have any comments. I'll link all of the uh, Motor Wheels uh, kit. I always get the kit from them. Just, just get the kit from Motor Wheels. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. And uh, comment down below and uh, hit me with a like, subscribe as normal. We're going to see you guys out on the road tomorrow. We're heading down to Alice's. We are going to have a blast. I'm going to be on the Street Fighter. Bob is going to be on the Toronto. And uh, I just can't wait. So, like, subscribe. Uh, we'll see you guys next video. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next.